We are going to use our black wax crown to draw the outline of our rainbow fish. I'm going to try and make it as big as you can. The rainbow fish has a tail that is shaped like a crescent moon. And I like to use a sideways love heart to draw in the fish's mouth. And don't forget to draw his eye. Once you have made the rainbow fish's body, we can use our coloured wax crayon to draw on some scales. I started with blue. After you've outlined all the rainbow fish scales, you can start drawing some of our line shapes into the scales. You can use straight lines, zigzag lines, dots, circles, spirals. Some of the scales I even filled in the whole way. When we put the watercolour on, the paint is only going to go into the area where there is no crayon, so the white paper. So have a think about that when you're drawing the shapes on your scales. After you finish decorating your scales, you can decorate the fins and the tails with some squiggly lines as well. I use some white crayon to make clear patches on the paper. Then it's time to start painting. You're going to need your water to wet your watercolour paints. And remember we want them to be pretty thin, you don't want them to be too thick because it's the water that's going to resist the wax crayon like you can see on the rainbow fish head. If the paint is a little bit thick, you can use a napkin or a towel to blot up the excess so that you can still see the pretty wax colour underneath. I like to use a contrasting colour, so one that's not the same as the crayon drawing on each scale. That means I'm going to be able to see the crayon and the paint. When you're painting your rainbow fish, think about all the pretty colours that you saw the fish have in the book. There was some pink fish, orange fish, and lots of blue and green and teal fish. I've gone for a mixture of colours to make my fish really stand out from the background. Don't forget to paint the fins and the tail of your rainbow fish. Once we have finished with the fish, we need to work on having an underwater ocean for the fish to live in. Here I am drawing some little sea seaweeds to live under the water and some plants for the fish to swim around in. I'm making sure that I'm pressing really hard with my wax crayon so that the watercolour paint resists the wax crayon. I'm using some blues, dark blue, light blue and some green colours and I've also added some white wax crayon to make it stand out from the page a little bit more, make it look like the water is moving. I made sure to fill the whole page with the underwater colours so that when I put the fish on top it looks like it's swimming in an underwater adventure land. Our next step is to cut out a rainbow fish. It's sometimes a good idea to ask an adult to help you with this. Then we're going to cut and glue little pieces of cardboard that we're going to stick on the back of our fish so that it is 3D. It is away from our paper. This will make it look like it is swimming. Stick these on the back of our fish. Then we're going to add our glitter scale. Once our glitter is on, we can put some more glue on the back of the fish and get ready to stick it to our underwater adventure land, just like this. Well done, everybody.